ever wondered how to read the data on a seismogram? The Webacorder is the digital version of the paper records used by scientists in days of yore. Seismometers measure vibrations. More vibration, more wiggle. Some seismometers measure only up and down. Sometimes they shake too much and the data are off scale. Some seismometers record in all three dimensions. Many web recorders display 15 minutes per line, alternating colors as time passes. Plots are automatically updated every few minutes. Scientists use web recorders for a quick look at current activity, but web recorders are really just a blurry picture of the actual data. To really understand what's going on, they look at the real data, which is far more informative. Here is a small earthquake. It begins as a sharp crack as the rock breaks and then quickly decays with time. In this plot, the data are clipped to allow viewing of other data. This can be very useful when there are lots of earthquakes, as in this seismic swarm with multiple earthquakes of magnitude two or three. Seismometers are sensitive enough to pick up vibrations from earthquakes around the world, if they're big. This is what the giant 2011 Japan earthquake looked like on a seismometer in Wyoming, 5,000 miles away. Compared with the P and S waves that travel through the Earth, surface waves are slower and arrive later, but can continue to be recorded for hours as they propagate around the Earth. Seismometers not only record earthquakes, but anything that makes the ground vibrate. Helicopters, ocean waves, traffic, animals, and wind. Wind can be seen as noisy periods. Here, the wind picks up each day and drops off at night. Here, traffic noise shows up on a seismic station located a quarter mile from a road. Seismometers are sensitive electronic instruments, often deployed in harsh wilderness environment. They can, and do, break. Sometimes they just stop working, but sometimes they just become noisy and unreliable. Here's a record from a three-channel instrument, one of which is broken. Guess which one? Nearby equipment and machinery can also create interference. Worried about something on a web recorder? Then check readings from nearby instruments. Anything that shows up only on a single seismometer is either noise or earthquake activity too small to worry about. Okay, you've done your homework and you're ready to graduate from the ACME School of Web Recorder Arts and Sciences. Congratulations, now you're prepared to start cruising data on the internet. Have fun out there, mind your P's and S's, and keep in mind, if you see an ominous signal at Mount Scarymore, don't hesitate to seek the opinion of a professional seismologist. They have many years of training and on-the-job experience, and they all have their favorite story for that funny signal that no one can explain.